Hello, very good evening to all. It's a pleasure to be back with you with your program, Get Out of Depression. We are here one more evening to show you stories of people who overcome through the power of faith. And that's why I would like already to show you testimonies of people who have been overcoming in these days that the world is in trouble, that many people in this world also is living in trouble. God is making you wonderful miracles in our midst. And you're going to see people who have been coming at the UCKG Help Center and they have been receiving their sign. If you'd like to talk to us, uh, there below your screen, there is that contact where you can reach us through WhatsApp, our also our helpline. And also if you are watching me from Facebook, you have our um, the message, our message of Facebook, you can contact us. We'll be here right now. We are here right now at this time available to help you. Let's see these stories and we'll be back with you straight after. Lift up in the name of Jesus now. And now, do you feel pain? No, no pain. No more pain? How do you feel now? Yeah, I feel good. You feel good I feel good. good. Look at me. I am good. Never again you're going to have this problem. Where is the pain? No. No more pain? No more pain. Could you do that before? No. How long have you been having pains there? Over 10 years. Over 10 years. And now lift up your legs there. How are you now? I'm much better now. No more pain? So go, mom. Go with the rod like this on your shoulder here. Go there. How was she walking? Honestly, how was she walking? Were you walking like this? Did you see who saw her walking here? Now, mom, go with the stick like this. This is your rod, like Moses. Lift up the rod, Moses. Go open the seat. Walk, walk, walk there. Yes. Yes. Amen. Strong to our God. This is our God. So before the 21 days, I was coming to church and I was really applying what the pastor was telling me because I came back after, let's say, about four years, but I never used to come um, consistently. I was coming on and off. When I used to come before, I never took the things of God seriously. All I was doing, coming to the services, applying what the pastor said. He was even sharing his testimony to all of us in like the real talk meetings that we were having. And then he was saying that he received the Holy Spirit in the toilet. And I was thinking to myself, if he can receive the Holy Spirit in the toilet, then I can receive the Holy Spirit. So every day at school, break time, lunch time, early in the morning, I used to go inside the toilet every day seeking the Holy Spirit. People were walking in, but I didn't care because I was there in my cubicle saying that I really wanted to receive the Holy Spirit because I understood that without the Holy Spirit, I'm nothing. And then it's like, God basically gave me salvation, and how can I sustain the salvation if I don't have basically someone there always by my side helping me? And I wanted that person to actually live inside of me. So that's why I decided to take part. During the process of the fast, I decided to let go of entertainment, Facebook, football, Snapchat, watching Match of the Day, all those kind of things. I decided to let go, but I was still basically focused on certain things inside the world, like Instagram, for example. I used to have like a lot of followers. I mean, like a lot of girls followers especially and like I realized those desires for girls were still there. I remember I was crying, I was saying to God, listen, if you really want me to give up Instagram, if you really want me to give up girls, then I'm gonna do it. I just deleted Instagram straight away. I didn't care who was gonna message me back because I just really wanted God and I wanted my life to change because I, I never wanted to basically just kept on, keep on hearing about God. I mean, and I was hearing like the pastor saying that, listen, you can do this, you can do that, but I never really believed that I could actually do that. I never really believed that that was actually for me because the way that they were speaking, they were actually speaking like they know what they were speaking about and I wanted that as well. When I received the Holy Spirit in the 4 p.m. meeting, I realized that it wasn't me. I never had the joy straight away, the happiness or all those things, but it was just for me to actually like just simply believe because I was complicating it. And even the day that I received the Holy Spirit, I saw a girl that basically she liked me before and things like that. Like she was basically, my old flame kind of thing, like a girl that I had in the past. But then even from seeing her, I, because I received the Holy Spirit, I actually ran away because I never wanted to basically lose what I received. And then from afterwards, one of the biggest changes that I noticed about myself from receiving the Holy Spirit, I stopped being basically vulgar because I realized that the reason why I was speaking bad things about people, disrespecting people is because what I was having on the inside, what I was keeping in my heart, I was keeping in my mind. Now I'm polite to people, I'm respectful and things like that, but I'm just genuinely happy now basically. 
We are back with you with your program, Get Out of Depression. You know the Bible says in the Psalm 91, we're going to display a verse there on your screen. It says on verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, my dear friend, when we abide under the shadow of the Almighty means when we are under the blessing of God. You saw those people's stories, people who were depressed, people who were sick, people who were sad. You see different stories. We are not just playing for you just one story, but different dif different stories with different problems. At the UCKG Help Center has been coming people who have depression, who have uh, sometimes they are sick, uh, financial problems. But you know, when the person abide under the shadow of the Almighty means that the person is protected. That's why in tonight's program, we would like to pray for you for protection. Because right now, you are feeling unsafe. You are feeling, you know, that there is no way out for you. You, you, you are afraid of the day of tomorrow, afraid of losing your job, afraid what is going to happen with your family. Maybe you are there depressed, you are not working, maybe you are in quarantine, your doctor advised you to stay at home, maybe you are in a group of risk and that has been really hurt you and your faith or you yourself has been going down and down and down. But you know one thing, when we are under the shadow of the Almighty, we are strong. And whatever you are, we would like to pray for you. We want to pray for you and to determine that you receive strength. Yes, you know that when we pray, when we ask something to the Father in heaven, believing the Father will do for us. So we're going to ask, we're going to unite our faith. You there in your house, me here close to the altar of God, we're going to unite our faith together and surely that the Holy Spirit will change your life. If you'd like to send us your name for the prayer, you can write down below. If you are watching me from Facebook, you can write the names below of the comments there, the names, or you can send us private, or you can send us through the WhatsApp. We're going to join our faith together. We're going to determine that you and your family you be under the shadow of the Almighty. Let's continue watching testimonies of people that has been, you know, blessed through the power of God, and we'll be back with you straight after with the prayer. Look at this tree music thing. You said pain in your stomach and on your shoulder, right? Because of this pain, what could you do? Could you lift up your, your shoulder like this, your, your arm? Not very much, so in the name of just lift up as high as you can. Yes. Could you do that before? If I want to open my window, it's a problem. If you want to open the window, it's a problem. So open the window here. Go ahead. <laughs> open the, the window. Yes. And now, where is the pain? It's gone. And there, you had a pain in your stomach. If you pressed before, would you feel pain? Present. And now, how do you feel? You don't feel the pain? Look at me, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Never again you're gonna have the pain, my dear. I had a lot of fears about the future. I had recently gone through um, a breakup in my love life, so that was affecting me. I had a lot of anger inside of me as well. I cared a lot about what people felt. So I had a lot of negative thoughts as well in my mind and my relationship with God just never seemed to progress to how I wanted it to be. So the reason why I took part was because I knew that I wanted my relationship with God to go to a level where it's never been before and I knew that that could only happen if I had the Holy Spirit. I used that time to read my Bible and I would read it in the morning so that I could meditate on it throughout the day so that I could really have that time to reflect on God's Word and what He wanted to say to me. I took the opportunity to understand that, okay Adam, this is your time, you know, you need to um, believe that God has forgiven you, you need to forgive yourself and you need to let go, you need to let go of the past and it was really difficult because I remember the day it happened, it was on a Saturday. For me the question that I dreaded was if you don't have the Holy Spirit come to the front or come on the altar and on that day that is exactly what the pastor said so in that moment I was just like oh my gosh 
what, what are people going to think? Um, how am I going to do this? But I remember thinking to myself, do you know what, Adama? It's not about anyone else here. It's about you. It's about your relationship with God. So I went up on the altar and I didn't look back. Well, things have changed for me completely. My relationship with God has grown over the years. Things are so much more different in terms of the way that I am. I'm always ready to fight regardless um, of what may come at me. Um, so, so much great blessings have happened since receiving the Holy Spirit. So even though um, I've taken part in the campaign before, I still participate in the 21 days. You know, sometimes we get carried away with work and, you know, just things of life. So when the 21 days comes, it's that time to just have it with God again and you know just for you to cherish and remember actually do you know what yeah this is this is something that's really important to me so today my life my life is a real blessing you know in all areas my financial life my love life my family my health so I'm really pleased In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my Father, we enter before your presence and we ask you in this moment that you may reach each one of these people who are right now participating through this prayer with us. People who are, my God, without, my God, without no hope, sometimes depressed, sometimes, my Father, inside of, the, of them there are a deep fear about what is going to happen with their family or about themselves. My God, and by I pray right now, whatever this person is, your spirit may transform and give them the strength. I also pray, my God, that you may bless every name that was sent to, to us right now, my God, through this Facebook page or through the WhatsApp. People, my Father, that are in the different countries, perhaps family members, friends, people who are in hospital, people who are, my God, lost. But when your spirit comes inside of us, we will not be lost anymore. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I determine that this person and their family are strong right now. Receive your healing. If you are, watch me right now depressed, be free. If you are watch me with, you know, with, feeling down, feeling weak, dismotivated, without no hope, thinking that there is no solution for you, in the name of the Lord Jesus, be free right now. I determine that you are free by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, we surrender everything in your hands. And if you believe, say, Amen. You can open your eyes and take a deep breath. My dear friend, you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. We have our doors of the UCKG Help Center open with restrictions, but we are open every single day. Um, and we have also services, of course, with limits of people. That's why if you'd like to know more about us, you should call us or you should go through our website. But we have services where we are here available to help you. Monday to Friday, you can come, the church opens at 9 o'clock in the morning and close around 8.30 in the evening. You, you can come anytime and here we're going to have someone to help you. Or even if you'd like just to come and to approach to the altar and to pray. You know that the altar is the solution for every problem. The altar represents God. If you'd like to do that, you are our, our guest. If you live in Stockholm, we have our headquarters at the Birgheasgotten. 106 here in Stockholm. But we have our branch as well in Gothenburg every Saturday. We have also our special work in Oslo as well. You can contact us uh, or you can call us for more information or you can visit our website www.uckg.se and there in our website as well you're going to have information about our services online. Maybe you are uh, alone there in, in your house, you can't come out, you are in quarantine, your doctor advised you to stay at home, you can participate in the services of the UCKG online, free of charge. You can visit our website and see more information, okay? It was a pleasure to be with you. May the Lord of the Bible bless you all. And until next time. My husband committed suicide when I was quite young. 
left me with three young children. It was about eight years of abuse, starting from psychological abuse until it got physical. I just felt so lost as a teenager, I didn't know who I was. I kind of just felt very, very lonely. My grandmother passed away. Eight months after, nine months after, then my mother passed away too. I kind of buried those emotions. I was having really sleepless nights and I was really desperate. Depression, that was affecting me. Ten years I was on medication. 